Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm Dave. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to configure M2E Pro to sell on eBay using the advanced mode. That's right. So we've been a jumps across to our Magento system and please follow us along in your Magento website too. To choose the advanced mode, you need to go to sell on eBay at the top of your Magento admin. Then we need to link our eBay account to our Magento website and M2E Pro. So we click on the button which says register and link to eBay. We'll need to fill out some basic details. So we're going to pop our name, our surname in there as well, our country and also our city. And then click on confirm. Then we need to click on the button which says sign into eBay. You'll need to enter your eBay ID and your password and then click on sign in. Now, if I enter my password here, Matt, does that mean that M2E Pro can have access to my account and see the password and log in as me? Well, the answer to that is yes and no. So no, they will never be able to see your eBay password. That's always secure with you. However, when you click the I agree button, which we've got up on our screen right now, is that that will pass a special token to M2E Pro so that they're able to act on your behalf. That means that M2E Pro will be able to list items onto eBay for you. You'll be able to revise eBay listings that could be price, quantity or your description, and also to collect orders from eBay and bring those back into your Magento system. I see. So they can act on our behalf, but they don't get any access to the sort of sensitive information. That's right. Yeah, they never see your password. So with that said, if we click on I agree, we'll then be transferred back to our Magento website. So this will take a few moments to go through. And this time around, we're going to choose the advanced method. So this is advanced and it's suitable for the more experienced user. So to do the advanced mode, Matt, do I need to be a business or like a professional eBay seller with a professional store or an anchor store, for example? Nope. It basically means that you get more advanced options than what you would do in the simple method. The simple method, as it sounds, is really simple and it's so straightforward. You can actually get your first product listed onto eBay within only a handful of clicks, whereas the advanced method we'll be able to create something called policies and then we get more control over our listings onto eBay. So let's progress and click on continue and we'll be able to start creating those policies. Cool. So we can see congratulations, you have successfully linked your eBay account to M2E Pro and this is where we go and create our first listing using M2E Pro. So click on the button which says create an M2E Pro listing and then click on continue and this is the section where we're going to be creating multiple policies in our Magento system. So we're going to leave the title as general. We've got our eBay ID set, and then we need to choose our eBay site. Now, myself and Dave are based in the United Kingdom, so we're going to leave that as the United Kingdom. However, if you primarily sell in the United States or Australia or Germany, for example, then choose your eBay site as appropriate. Next, click on next step in the top right hand corner. And what we'll now see is that M2E Pro is updating the settings from eBay. So that means it's the eBay categories, your store categories, and so on and so forth. And that will take a few moments. We've just seen it complete. The first policy which we're going to create is a payment policy. So where it says PayPal accepted, we're going to tick that box. And this is where you'll need to enter in your PayPal email address. You can also choose the option for immediate payment required. And we've selected that option. Once you've selected that, you'll see that there's a button here called Save as New Policy. If you click onto that button and then name that policy, in our case, we're going to call it eBay UK hyphen payments. So if we add in additional eBay sites later on, we know that this payment policy is for eBay UK and then click on confirm. Let me get this right, Matt. So I guess in these policies in m 2 Pro, almost like cookie cutters, because you can put all these details in once and then you set them to your listings. And then whichever listing is using that policy, all this information is already used. That's right. So M2E Pro has got this system called policy or templates 
or cookie cutters is the best way of explaining them. So that means that you can create a policy once and then use it for multiple eBay listings. So unlike if you went to the eBay sell your item form and you have to fill out all the information every single time, with M2E Pro and Magento, you can create a policy and then use that policy numerous times. And of course, for example, if we change our PayPal email address, we would only need to change it once within a policy rather than tens or thousands of eBay listings. Does that make sense? Makes perfect sense to me. Happy days. So moving on to the shipping section, we're going to choose the United Kingdom. We're going to enter our postcode and our city. The glorious city of Bristol, I hasten to add. <laughs> <laughs> Not Manchester, where Dave's from. Hey. <laughs> Moving on, we must set at least one shipping method within our shipping policy. So if you click on the Add Shipping Method button and then choose a shipping method, and in our case, we're going to choose Royal Mail 48 and we're going to set the mode as being free. You can also add in additional shipping methods by pressing the add method button, then choosing your shipping method. So maybe we want to choose other 24 hour courier. We can also set a price and that price may be $5.99, for example. And you can also set an additional cost as well. So maybe it's one pound per additional item. You can also set your dispatch time. And you can also select any shipping profiles or promotional rules, which you've already got set up on eBay. Scrolling down, you can also set an additional settings as desired. And just like the payment policy, we're going to click on the Save New Policy button. We're going to label this eBay UK hyphen shipping and then click on Confirm. A quick question there, Matt, is obviously we just created a shipping policy. Now, let's... Imagine that I sell electronics and I sell big widescreen TVs, like 50-inch TVs, and I also sell DVD players. Now, my business might warn that I have two couriers, one that's suited more for the big TVs and one that gives me a better rate for the smaller packages. Can I create more than one shipping policy to sort of manage these, or do I have to do it all from one? Yes, you can, Dave. You can either have different policies or, if you wish, you can override these settings on a per listing basis. So if you've got a special eBay listing where you need to charge more or less shipping on, you can override that when you actually list to eBay using M2E Pro. Or the way which I would personally suggest is that you create a separate shipping policy and then assign it to that product, because I'm guessing that you may want to assign that policy onto many products which don't fit the TVs, for example. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, that's great. Another quick one is that uh, I want to change couriers. So I move from, say, UPS to FedEx. Can I then come back into my shipping policy and edit the details, or do I have to delete it and create a new one? That's right. So you can go back to your policy, you can change your settings, and then depending upon the synchronization settings which you've got, which we'll get to in a few moments' time, is that M2E Pro will then kick in and then revise those live listings on eBay for you automatically in the background. Ah, oh, fantastic. Cool. Moving on, you can also set your returns policy. So fill out your details as required. And in this case, we're going to click on Save as New Policy, eBay UK, and then we're going to label that returns and then click on confirm. And with those three sections complete, then click on next step in the top right hand corner. The next section is all about your selling settings. So we're going to assume that you do have an eBay store and you want to list as good till cancelled onto eBay. So we're going to change the listing duration from three days till good till cancelled and we're going to leave the other settings as default. If we then scroll down you can also choose the, where the prices should be come from from within your Magento catalog so product price and the main product and if you have strike through pricing enabled on your eBay account you can also set this here too. So we're going to save that as a new policy so again we're going to call that eBay UK 
price and quantity and then click on confirm. The next section which we've got is all about the description for your product. So we've got the condition set, we can choose our images on here, we can also set M2E Pro to change images based upon the variation which you've got in your system but we're not going to cover that with you in this tutorial. We suggest that you change your gallery images up to 11 like so and then if you then scroll down you'll be able to choose the attribute where the eBay listing title should be come from so we're going to leave that as product name however it should be noted is that you can choose a Magento attribute for your eBay title so that you can have a separate title on eBay from what you have on your Magento website. You can also specify a subtitle and you can also choose the option to cut long titles and again we would suggest that just in case you don't get any silly errors coming back from eBay because your titles are too long. We're also going to set the description for eBay to come from the product description in Magento and also it should be worth noting that you can set a custom description using any listing template builder, perhaps like the one which we've got on our website, Dave, at Understanding E, which is compatible with M2E Pro, for example. Oh yeah, that's really cool. Nice little plug there. <laughs> Moving backwards, we're going to set that back to product description. You can also set up any of the eBay catalog identifiers, so EN, UPC, EPID, or ISBN if you're selling books. We're also going to set the gallery type as gallery picture. And again, these settings will vary upon the country which you're based upon and the type of products which you sell. With that said, we're now going to click on save as new policy. We're going to enter eBay UK and then description and then click on confirm. Ace, we're on to the next section. So let's click on next step in the top right hand corner. And this next section is all about the synchronization settings. So that means that when should M2E Pro update or revise your live eBay listings which are using these policies? So we've got list action enabled and in our case we're going to set that to disabled and the reason for that is because we don't want M2E Pro to carry on and list in the rest of this video tutorial. However, in your case you would leave that as enabled, leave this product status as enabled, stock availability as in stock and the quantity as any. On the left hand side you can choose your revision rules and we would suggest that you leave these as default. The same for the revise rules and also for the stock rules. But before I continue just one little setting which I want to point out is that if you were to disable or mark a product as being out of stock then you can set M to E Pro which is set by default to end those items onto eBay. So let me go back to list rules and like I said we're just going to set ours to disabled just for the purpose of this tutorial. Once you've been and set those click on save as new policy again name it eBay UK or if you're in the United States you would enter eBay US and then we're just going to call that sync for our policy name and then click on confirm. Excellent. Now click on next step in the top right hand corner and this is where we can list our very first product to Magento Dave. Nice. Cool. So we click on the continue button and on the left hand side we've got that left is product list. Then click on continue in the top right hand corner and in our case we're going to be listing a toaster to eBay. We're only picking up one product but you could be picking up 10, 100 or 1000 products from your Magento catalog. So with that toaster selected click on continue and then we're going to choose the option no skip it and the reason for that is that we've just been and set up the policy settings a few moments ago. Excellent. With the same category option selected on the left hand side we're then going to go and click continue in the top right hand corner and this is where we can set our eBay category, our item specifics and also our eBay store category. So let's go and click on edit for the eBay category 
Now, I don't know which category this item's stored in, so I'm going to go and click on search. I'm going to type in toaster and then press search on the right hand side. And I'm going to choose the most apt category, which is that one there. And I've clicked on select. Then click on done. And also, we're going to set our eBay store category. Now, if you don't have an eBay store, this section won't appear for you. But we're assuming that you do. So we're going to click on edit. And then we're going to choose our eBay store category, magnets in this case, and then click on done. And obviously, your eBay store categories, which are appear in that window, will be based upon the categories which you've been set up in your eBay store or in your eBay shop. With those set, click on continue. And this is where we can set our item specifics for eBay. So this is where you can set the recommended values, in our case, a toaster. So we choose wide slot bagel toaster brand. We choose eBay recommended and then maybe Breville. And then you would carry on and fill out any item specifics as required. You can also add in your own custom item specifics using the add custom specifics button in the bottom right hand corner. If you then click on continue in the top right hand corner, we're at the last stage now, Dave, where we've got the option whether we can review the items which we want to list onto eBay, or we've got the option to list your items now. Cool. So we're going to choose the review your items button, and we can see that we've got our first product, a toaster, waiting to be listed onto eBay. Now, we know that this item hasn't been listed onto eBay just yet because the eBay ID column has NA for not available in that column. For you to go on and list this item onto eBay, you would tick this item on the left hand side and then from the actions menu on the right hand side, choose list items onto eBay and then press submit. As easy as that. Happy days. We both hope that you found this video tutorial useful. If you have, then subscribe to be kept up to date with more Magento themed tutorials. Back before myself and Matt started building Understanding E, I was under the impression that Magento was really nerdy and that you almost needed to be a developer to get the most out of it. And now, I know that that just doesn't have to be the case. That's why we built Understanding E to show you that Magento is really easy to use and you can use it for your business to sell onto eBay and Amazon and most importantly that a degree in nerd is not required. If you would like to find out more about us and gain access to over 150 non-nerd step-by-step video tutorials on Magento then please visit us at understandinge.com And we'll see you there. Cheerios!